G'day everyone, it's career mode time on Ashes Cricket. Once again, we are going in to a first class game. We remember last time we actually did our first decent performance with the bat in hand. 79 not out in the third innings of the first class, uh, you know, match type in a, in a three day game. Very disappointed not to push on to 100. Uh, our team sort of declared on us when we're on 79, and then we looked as though we were going to push forward. So hopefully that little bit of confidence that we had from uh, the last couple of games should be able to put us in good stead going forward, and we can get another big score today. Richmond v. Campbellwell here back at our Richmond Park over when uh, no one really wants to watch. But we are the best team in the competition at the moment. Two wins and a draw over the three three-day games we've played. Campbellwell are going to bat first. Okay. All right, so... Let's recap what happened in that first inning. So that first innings, Campbellwell made 215 runs. And we are currently 2 at 4, 2 for 44, as I have come in at number 4. Let's hope we can deliver in the first innings this time around. Rather than waiting until the second innings. But that is a really nicely timed oh, shot to here. begin. Runs. Hopefully that's the sign of things to come. Don't really want to get bogged down at all. Oh, I've hit that a little bit into the air, but it is into the gap, and it should hopefully get to the rope. Fingers crossed. And yes. gets... So this is how you would like to start our innings every time. Just maybe take the game away a little bit from the bowlers and not allow them to sort of keep us, you know, in, in those dot ball scenarios. Always, always be on the move. Make them constantly change the field put the, the bowling team on the back foot. And that's sort of the approach that I've been taking this time around. That's a good shot again. That could go for a four at will. That's even better than the previous good. one. Four but it's runs. into the same area. So another boundary there. We've started really nicely here. 11 from six. And now another one through the leg side. Sort of behind square on that side. Just going to be the two this time around. But uh, very good. I'm liking this. Like in the start, the... doesn't need to be a bad start. Yep. No, 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 no. Yep. Just the one though. Got to make sure we take these singles just as much as we take all of the, the you know, the twos Another and stuff taken. because we can't. It's, we can ill afford to get ourselves out. Wait, yep. Oh, it was a dangerous shot because there are slips there, but it'll be two. Ah, yes, yeah, Senor Frank. Yep. Oh, shot, Dean. Through the uh, third man region of the field. That's the another boundary. boundary. Is the new bowler. And now we start to see our confidence meter go into that good area. It's not quite in the full confidence, but we're in the good confidence. Yep. Yeah, and that's a good shot, too. That might actually beat that fielder and go all the way to the boundary. And well, that is four. So the quicker bowler and just able to use the pace really as we splice that one away through the offside but I don't think having these two super close fielders are going to help their cause oh yeah, that's going to be out of the hands. that's some wides well wide. that is that is almost five wides and it is five wides so that is just there. a very poor delivery clearly uh, just over corrected for the fact I just punished him off that first delivery of the over and uh geez quadri and a in a bit of a bother Swing and a miss. someone falling outside off maybe Waiting. Oh, yep. in the air just maybe the one possibly the two awesome. i don't know why you'd then bowl it straighter if you just allow me to just tonk Great it shot. like that four, run. four runs with this i like you put more fielders on the offside and you just bowl it more straight I suppose it wasn't super straight, it was kind of swinging away, but still, mate. It. Oh, it's gone over the top of midwicket anyway. It wasn't necessarily a bad ball, the timing wasn't great, but because nice our confidence shot. is well, Four we're going to be able to hit those. Four, just enough to get over the infield there. 35 from 23, sort of racing at the moment. A little bit of good runs. Yeah. Oh, no way that's a wicket. No way that's a wicket. You're kidding. Away. 
on their way back. You're kidding. No, 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 that's bollocks. What's happened here? Have I got out of that pad again? Mm. Oh, that is rubbish. That is rubbish. Uh, getting out of bat pad has happened to me a couple of times when I've been playing through uh, the Ashes series as Australia against the Poms, but boy, it's carried over into my career mode form. Not ideal. All right, I might just bowl an over or two. Nothing too extensive. Just maybe the one over, just to break up my batting a little bit here. Just see what I'm capable of. A lot of offside field out too. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of flight. Peel there. I'm the only one appealing. Everyone else is kind of just like, what are you doing, you bloody muppet? Catch it. There's a fielder down there. It is uh, into the hill. Or into the fence. Sends out flying for six. Yeah, okay. The team just gelling very nicely. It all came together and resulted in a crushing victory. All right, so we've managed to get home by nine wickets here. Didn't even need a bat in that second innings. Well, for one set of... So we managed to bowl five overs number 22, uh, make 35 runs before getting caught at bat pad, and then all of a sudden in that second innings, did not need a bat, so didn't need to do a hell of a lot that time. But Richmond did get the victory in the end. What we're going to do now is take a little bit of a look through their stats. I know we're only four episodes in, uh, or three or four episodes in, but why not take a look at how we've sort of progressed so far. Take a look at some of the other features of Creamo now that it's sort of, we've had a couple of goes at, at getting things done. We'll just upgrade a couple of shots here, shot selection. So uh, let's just have a look here. We're just getting our match P of however many skill points and I think it's dependent depending on performance as well but uh, if we take a look at our guy and our selection status we're not a chance for anything right now so we do need to uh, clearly have another standout couple of performances and I think that's probably due to how we've gone but let's look at our Manhattan graph in our batting side of things we've got the you know the 30s the 20s the 20s and then uh, that fifth that fourth innings was the big one 78 not out and then eventually the team declaring and then that last match having a 35 so we we've only had a bad about once per innings over the course of time here and, and we take a look at our career stats then we're averaging 45 really because of that 79 not out but um we've only had five innings across four matches which is not a lot at all uh 18 fours yet to hit a six uh, and a couple of uh what's the ct does that mean that i've been caught out twice is that what it is? An average of 45, uh, strike rate of 90. So we've got a decent strike rate as well going on there. And we take a look at the bowling side of things. Uh, 26 for two, our best bowling figures in an innings. And then uh, four for 74 in a match, which I think was actually in our first match there. And this one says four matches for five innings, which I think is a little bit more off because we have bowled, I think in a few more innings has been noted there, but we've taken 10 wickets across those four matches. So we're not, you know, a useless bowler by any stretch of the imagination. And we can take a look at, at how we stack up in the current season, uh, statistic-wise. Where are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at the, the wrong thing. I'm looking at the shield. You know, we take a look at where we are in the uh, Victoria Cup, and we can really see that, you know, our average is sort of... It's up there, but we've only been able to bat in five innings. So we haven't been able to bat in as many innings as these guys. Look at them, you know, five, you know, six, seven, eight innings at some point so our our average of 40 45 as we can see down here you know we just haven't really had the opportunities as much as these guys to bat to get those big up scores and you can see you know some of them with with some big high scores of 180 and 145 uh even this guy disappointed 95 not out but a 79 not out really disappointing from our point of view we've only got one more three-day game to go which we will cover off in the next uh, episode, I believe, this, this stuff's happened, hasn't it? Surely it's happened. So if we go advance, we should be down to our last three-day game. It'll be coming up against Q, uh, as far as I'm aware there. Yep, so we can see it here. Round five's where we're up to. The last one of the Victoria Cup in the three-day stuff. Uh, and potentially in the final of that as well. So we, we should actually have a final. For the uh, unless there's only a final for the uh, T20s and one dayers, but uh, looks like we're gonna win the this one, the uh, T20s, and all of these drawn matches are actually decided on countback too. So there you go, Andy. 
Which means we've got one game to go. It is against Q. The winner will be the champion. It's essentially the grand final. And then we get to go into some other stuff. So thank you guys for watching the first couple episodes of this series. I hope you've been enjoying it. And uh, hopefully within not too long, we should actually be able to push forward into, you know, some, some better competitions like, you know, the, the Victorian side or and then uh, pushing into, you know, some international competitions along the way. So thank you for watching. Leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.